get to meet new people and uh, the learn different cultures. Yeah. Meet friends, make friends, have yeah. a Swim in the midnight. Yeah. yeah. Jumping at midnight. My name is Pauline Gadoni. My, my nickname is Sony. Yeah. I was born in uh, Umoja in a hospital known as Nairobi Hospital back then. Nairobi West Hospital. Yeah. Thank you, Mom. Yes. So, we fix the name to us and uh, Hand sheets. It's so, okay. So yeah. But you can help me for. Yeah, I can. I can. Ah, so just help. I had passion in uh, dancing. I found a group where they started dancing when they were small. I was in class uh, six, study six. So we started. Uh, they there were volunteers who taught us to dance. We started dancing there. We were taught, and then uh, there there was a certain trip which I. I went for an interview and I was chosen. I went to Nuru in 2007, in class seven. Yeah, we are dancing here in Tanzania, in East Africa. Here I am. This is my smaller bro, my dad, my mom. This is me, in official. <laughs> official look. <laughs> It gradually went on and we ventured into music. So I found a girls' band where we sing. It's called Malkia Band. Now I'm in Malkia Band, but I'm also a dancer. I was teaching my sister how to dance here. Yeah, here yeah too. I was teaching you. Yeah. Here is when you were at, uh, Uku, yeah. at, at uh, Norway. 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 Norway, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was doing and some dancing, workout practice. Yeah. Yeah. Too. And I was pr uh, trying to new ballet, ballet shoes. You are training? Yeah, yeah. I okay. was trying mm -hmm. to wear them. Mm -hmm. So here, yeah, I just stand with, stood with them mm. up I to try. And here it was just songs, traditional yeah, songs. Yeah, it's like. traditional. Mm. And this is Fatia. Yeah. Do you remember Fatia? Mm. Mm. I'm Fatia. I'm from Nairobi. I'm 21 years old. Um, I'm a singer. I play the guitar. I play the bass and I play the traditional drums and the percussions. My mom lives in the coast of Kenya. That's where my dad comes from. She lives there with my younger sister and my elder sister. We are four girls and one boy, so we are five children. Um, I stay here with my dad and uh, my brother, but he lives alone. It's a pretty nice family. And I enjoy being here. Jambo, Jambo, Bwana, Habari Gani, Mzuri Sana, Wageni, Wakaribishwa. Kenya yetu hakuna matata Jambo 
jambo bwana habari gani mzuri sana wageni wakaribishwa Kenya yetu hakuna matata Kenya inchi nzuri hakuna matata nchi yenye amani hakuna matata hakuna matata I'm Elizabeth Adiambo Ouko, also known as Nana. I'm a performing artist, songwriter, and I'm also a business management student. I stay with my dad. My dad is Mr. John Oginga Ouko, and my mom was Agnes Atieno Omach Ouko, but my mom died last year, June 2008, apparently. So right now I stay with my dad and my stepmom and my sister also together. So right now I'm happily with my father, though I miss my mom, but at least I have my dad to guide me, like, okay, you're supposed to do this, and he advises me, so it's me and him. important because like you know where where you go in maybe in urban areas or slums if you get exposed to many things like me when I ventured into music and dance all my time I, de I developed there you know you see so I was doing kind of something constructive I, could, I couldn't concentrate on maybe like drugs doing other things you know so it did help me very much and also it supported my education in a way so I had to it was nice Sing, it's my like my comfort zone. Like when I have problems, when I go there, I just feel I'm in, like comforted. So it's a peaceful place for mine, and this music is food to my soul. Something traditional is. Uh, it has something that other stuff, other songs or other um, other styles of music don't have. It's, it's very rich, it's very natural, it's very, very Kenyan. In Kenya, we have 42 tribes, and um, in every tribe we have folk songs, we have songs that are known to every tribe. So I think it's very important. headed to a place a city it's called Kisumu city that's my hometown it's um, it's one of the amazing place that is where I was brought up it's also known as the Lakeside city because uh, you find like we have a lot of fish 
fish like we have the big fish and the small fish you can get all types of fish there tonight we have a festival it's called uh, music in the wild or in my mother tongue the luo it's called tum etim so that it means music in the wild so it's all about the popular luo artists who do traditional music and modern music they come together they they combine the traditional ones and the modern ones the upcoming artists and the bigger artists together in one platform For me, like some of the artists like Tony Nyadundo and Maureen, they really liked what I do and I like what they do. So it was it was nice talking with them, trying to give me ideas what to do to get where they are right now. <laughs> in the wild it was so african I started music long time ago. I used to listen to different type of artists from ABBA to Celine Dion to Michael Jackson. That was when I was still young. So I started writing my own music at the age of 12. I used to write R&B songs, pop songs. In 2013, I was like, let me try change my genre of music. So I go much into my tribal music, like the Luo, Amaluo. So many of the modern people right now there's so much forgetting about the traditional way of life so i was like why can't i try something new like doing the luo songs like tell them like as much as we are so much into the modern world there's something so nice about our traditional 
I've met different artists who do the traditional music. Like I've met the Omena Band. Omena Band is a group of four old, very old guys who live in Mbita. So I was like, if I can work with these old guys, do a song, as much as I'm young and they're that old, there's something I can learn from them. So from there, I learned how to play the Orutu. This is the Orutu I play, also called the one string guitar. So this is the rod that is used for playing it. This is the sisal. So it has rules. From the instrument to the rod, it has rules. One of the main rules for the rod is your hands should never touch the sisal. And it should never like go to a cloth or anything because if, if that happens, it won't play, like it won't remove any sound. That's one of the rules. And once you have it, it should always be yours. Like, you know how to maintain it, you know how to keep it. Like when it spoils, you have to put in a new one. So you have to remove the old one and have a fresh one. So you should always make sure your hands or sweat or oil never goes on the side hole. This is called a resonator, where the sounds come from here. Then this is the skin. Either you can use a monitor lizard skin or a snake skin, depending on which one fast you can get from it. I started playing the guitar a few years back. Uh, in a community where I come from, the ratio of uh, girls to boys who are playing instruments is really low. Girls are, uh, they're, they're not open, they're, they don't come out. They always like to sing and let the boys do the instrument thing and the hard stuff. My hope in future is that I'll inspire more girls to come out and start doing other stuff other than the usual plating hair and beauty. Just do something different and I see a, a, a different community, different from the ones people know. Yeah, and uh, my dreams is that uh, I'll one day become a good producer because I'm studying sound technology in school and a good instrumentalist. The Ethno Festival, I think it's going to be fun. Uh, we expect to have a lot of fun there. I think it's going to be very exciting because you're going to meet new people. You're going to learn from other other people's culture and also they get to learn about our cultures and we hope to make new friends and yeah. Yeah, I think this the experience is going to be fun. Um, what I like about uh, stuff like that is that you meet new people, you get to learn new stuff that you don't know and uh, just make friends and enjoy yourselves, yeah. I basically, I will have fun, yeah. And I'm, I'm ready to learn the, more about their culture, understand, ready to intermingle with them, yeah. We have three songs, basically from different types types of tribes we have in Kenya. We have m many tribes, but uh, for the festival we'll teach three different songs from different tribes. 
and they have different beats and different dance styles which will teach the rest which we hope it will be easy for them to dance to yeah, so we have one of the song is called Woda Diambo which in English it means the son of a Diambo and the other song is called Eruayo it's from the coast part of Kenya uh, it's from a tribe called the Giriyama people and um, it's played mostly with uh, the hands uh, most of the time you don't use the sticks and it involves shaking the shoulders a lot so we hope it's going to be fun for them <laughs> Det här året är det 25 års jubileum för Etno. Och jag har som en av dem som minns det allra första och har varit inblandad många gånger så har jag fått äran och glädjen att komma och vara med och som gästlärare en av dagarna här och filosofera lite och spela med gänget och lära ut en del. There are many ways of learning tunes. Let's try this one. Now we sing it. We'll all sing it. And we do it slowly. Just try to follow along. With fiddles. <laughs> följt de här gänget. Jag säger gänget som att det är samma, men det är ju nya generationer som kommer år efter år. Och det är alltid samma fantastiska energi. Det är en helt enastående eh, händelse. Och eh, vi som varit med länge blir påminna om varför vi en gång blev alldeles galna av musik och har valt att ägna hela livet åt detta. Eh, och de här unga människorna som eh, kommer hit reser härifrån med en helt ny värld som öppnat sig.
I think it's a really beautiful experience. Very special experience, I'd say, you know, in every aspect, like, uh, you have uh, natural beauty, you have connection with so many people across the world, and, yeah, it's wonderful. Probably our life has changed to some extent because we have got such a wonderful opportunity to meet such wonderful musicians and the artistic directors. Everyone on this planet should experience an ethno experience. Absolutely. It's really wonderful. It's spreading peace and joy through music which is very unique and I don't think there are many projects, there are no projects like this, it's very unique. It was uh, fun, uh, we learned a lot of new stuff. The Indian song was really amazing and we got to learn a lot today. It was nice though for the instruments I play, the Urutu, it really didn't go well with this other <laughs> instrument because it's one string and this guy, some of them have like eight, some 12, of them 12, 12, 6 and me I have one so it was a bit challenging yeah so I had to drop that instrument and play something else but the whole experience was good I like the Indian song, it was nice yeah it was fun
most traditional form of crafting, I think. Yeah. Look for Schleid. Yeah, we got a short history lesson from a uh, guy living okay, like, okay. You weren't allowed to. You you. It was illegal not to be unemployed. Yeah. Like, to not yeah, have a okay, job. Okay. Let's see if I remember. Yeah. So they had to do something, and then they thought, ah, I can make stuff and sell it. Yeah. yeah. And now we're sitting here and also making like really cool stuff. Like that. It's <laughs> like amazing. And it's actually, it's so like, you get, it's relaxing. Yeah, it's like, it's yeah, you get so calm and it's like, you do this, like we do the same thing over and over and you're like, yeah, you get like really calm.
this was a traditional Bulgarian song. It uh, comes from an area where we actually live right now, right next to Sofia. It's called Shopska. And uh, it's about a blonde girl <laughs> and a boy, like many of the songs we get. <laughs> love story. Yeah, love story with blonde girl and a boy. bara människor som möts, att allt som man vet om olika länder och gränser och sånt, det liksom suddas ut. Att bara få se det bevisas gång på gång framför ögonen. Mm. Man inser ja. att det är liksom en människa som kommer från en så himla, en kultur som man trodde var så främmande kan vara så liksom mer lik en själv än ens egen familj ibland. Man var inte beredd på att det skulle vara så, eller jag var i alla fall inte det. Att man blir ändå alltid förvånad över att man är så himla lik alla andra, mm. även om alltså man liksom spelar helt olika musik till exempel. Man känner sig väldigt mänsklig liksom. Stämman. Och vi har med oss hela Etno hit och det är ganska spännande för att som ni märker så är det ju folk som spelar lite överallt, massa fjol. Men vi har lärt oss fyra svenska låtar så jag hoppas att folk jammar lite överallt. Watching the old folks do play the instruments and have fun, it's really nice because it's very rare to find like a group of many old people coming yeah. together to do this in Kenya. Yeah. So it's very nice and 
the environment is so good. Yeah, the people are friendly, so it's good. Det är många man känner igen från tidigare år och så där, som man får hälsa på så här, men det som slår mig är att de är så himla samspelta. Alltså. Det är musikaliskt ett toppen år för ett nu. Alltså. Man är, är, är som ett veteran lite sugen på att vara med igen. Det kan man lugnt säga. The days are fun to us, so yeah. none of the days are boring. True. We have many activities to do, and it doesn't get boring even for a single day. It's a nice place, cool, and I like the weather too. I think the buildings are nice, the houses look very pretty, and the fact that they use wood, it's very nice in their houses. Yeah, yeah the food is different, mm -hmm. very different. The weather is different too. In Kenya, the population is really huge, but here I've seen uh, the population is small.
Indian classical music and especially South Indian classical music, I should say, which is called Tillana. And the rag is uh, Bhim Plasi in, uh, in North Indian classical, yeah. while in South Indian it's close to Abhiri. It is Dhanashri. 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 So, and based on rhythmic things like you have seen them, then Mridangam, also vocal, flute and sharod. So we just made something together. It was very difficult when we actually started learning this and he, Skandu was the one who taught us. So finally, yeah, it is really nice one and uh, very excited. We are very excited to play and perform. <laughs> Det är mycket känslor på ett och det kan man verkligen vara säker på. Det är mycket kärlek hela tiden. Och det finns ett begrepp som ledarna har pratat om ända sedan de allra första åren. Och det är tears and kisses, alltså tårar och kyssar, som fyller en ett och vecka. Det börjar ju när de hundra, nästan hundra deltagarna ses första torsdagen. Så är de blyga och känner inte varandra. Men sen går det ganska fort och efter en, några dagar så leker de, spelar, sjunger, skrattar, pratar under resten av veckan och sen börjar hemresedagen närma sig och då är det tears and kisses som gäller. De här fyra killarna kommer från norra Zambia i en litet, litet område där uppe i Koppargruvsdistriktet. De kallar sig för Liverpool Young Stars och de har gjort sina instrument själva. De vann en tävling i Afrika och i sin region och fick åka till huvudstaden i Zambia och spela och där hade de förstås aldrig varit här vann de igen och så fick de åka till den regionala finalen i Zimbabwe. Det hade de ju verkligen aldrig varit. Och där vann de pris igen att få åka till Sverige. Och ja, ni fattar ju att där hade de ju definitivt aldrig varit förut. Så de här fyra killarna kom till Sverige långt upp i Norden med sina hemgjorda instrument. De hade förresten vunnit en elgitarr på en av de tävlingarna i, i Zambia. Som de inte hade så mycket glädje av eftersom det inte finns elström i deras hemby. Men till Sverige kom de och kunde verkligen inte ett ord engelska. De hade med sig en tolk som egentligen inte pratade deras språk heller. För det var en dialekt på, som han inte förstod fast han var från Zambia. Men det där spelade ingen roll. De spelade och jammade och hade kul. De satt på binskostämman och spelade med en massa lokala förmågor hela kvällen. Så musiken är ett språk som överträffar det mesta. Det är bara att konstatera.
it's, it's a jig, which is the, the clue, the <laughs> name. Yeah. Yeah. I heard it once on a CD uh, from a band, a Scottish band called Carquetin. I don't know what, who, who the name of the, the writer or anything for it, but we like it uh, and we play it together. So yeah, so we thought it was a good, good choice tonight. <laughs> Det är man är van vid att umgås på ett visst sätt, liksom, socialt och så. Det känns verkligen som att när man samlas i en stor grupp och träffar så många människor som har samma, samma mål och riktning på något sätt i, i livet så, så har man mycket gemensamt då att prata om, så då, då blir det ganska lätt att klicka. Från, från tidigare år då jag varit här. Um, att jag, jag kan mer um, folkmusik i församlingen. Uh, det här året har jag gått till folkhögskola och tagit ett härligt kunnat första gången. Så att det, ja, jag vet inte vad jag håller på med. Så det är väl kul. Och uh, spelar in mycket mer än vad jag gjorde förut. Så jag har så jag med mig sen när jag kommer hem. Så, så det är härligt. My grandmother was 100% Norwegian. Uh, and we do have, I think my great-great-grandfather was from Sweden in uh, Mora, I believe. Uh, but I'm not, not 100% sure on that. But yeah, I do have some ancestry here. Yeah, my grandpa is from Sweden and he came back a couple years ago and actually like found his grandparents' graves and stuff that like kind of rediscovered things about his life that he didn't know existed. So that was pretty cool. I think the ancestry and the, I guess, the way of life here in Sweden is something that I really enjoy, and that's influenced me to pursue Swedish music more than maybe I would have before. Um, so it's it's been a ton of fun, and it, it feels like home here. It's beautiful, and it the scenery looks almost exactly like northern Minnesota. So it's it's beautiful. There's really interesting similarities too, like really <laughs> coincidences that you never thought existed, like. <laughs> Like the way people talk and act, it, it really influenced Minnesota, that's for sure, and just the music background as well.
I'd like to challenge you. We play the whole arrangement, and I won't show anything, and I won't shout. It's very hard for me because I love shouting and showing things, but just mentally try to remember what is happening in the melody and so on. Now we start. last night. <laughs> the party was quite nice. And uh, great jam sessions, definitely. I think I've done 90 recordings, roughly, so far, <laughs> in, the, in the couple of days, because we're jamming all night long on top of the workshops. And obviously, us being from so different parts of the world, we just do have so many... Uh, we do know so many songs the others don't know, so... Like every third song will be a completely new one. <laughs> I've, had, I've done so many new songs. Sooner or later, if you want to become a professional musician, you have to make a decision. Don't make it too fast. Take your time. But sooner or later, you have to make one out of two choices. Namely, you have to decide to... The one way is I will learn, not everything, nobody knows everything, but so much about music, so many things. I have to know so many styles on my fiddle or on my percussion that I can play with any pop band, any jazz group, any folk session. Be a really a useful musician knowing that. Then you have to compete with other very skilled and useful musicians for the studio sessions in, in Stockholm or London or Delhi. Uh, and you have to be better than the rest of them. That's the one option. The other one is almost the difference. You have that, that choice is to become so unique that when they need that sound you are producing, the spirit you have, there's only one choice. That's you. And that's very different. Uh, you will have a problem if you end up in the midst of these two, because then nobody will know who are you. are not as good as the other studio rats who have been spending all the years and years in the studios. And you are not so unique that they will, they will put you in this very special project. So uh, you have to decide sooner or later. But again, don't rush. Take your time, because Time might do the choice for you, you, you know. I think yeah. all of them are nice, but they have different tastes. Yeah. yeah. The Bulgaria. Bulgarians are nice. Yeah. USA. Yeah. Denmark. 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 And Denmark dance. Brazil. Brazil. <laughs> and Brazil and India yeah. and Croatia. The Croatian music is kind of similar to uh, the African. Yeah. Music. It's really nice. It makes you feel like you're like you're in Africa, yeah. some place in Africa. It's lovely.
tusen tack för att jag får vara med om ett av de mest meningsfulla och mest spännande musikprojekt som jag någonsin har varit i närheten av. Vi ska spela en busig vals som heter Stygge. så fanns det i alla fall inte i den värld jag levde fanns ingenting av såna här eh, som jag fick vara med om. Och ibland så kan jag vara riktigt avundsjuk på de här gängen som har fått chansen att så snabbt eh, komma in på några av de här stora sanningarna om musik. Nämligen att det just är det här gränslösa språket som vi pratar om. Det är ju en, en förfärlig klyscha om man bara säger utan att mena det. Men det är ju faktiskt så att eh, den stora magin med musik, nämligen det här att man når varandra över kulturella gränser och långa avstånd, det upphäver man en sån här vecka. Och det märks på dessa unga människor som strålar av energi. Jag är ganska hänförd som du märker.
hard for the workshop, for the rehearsals and for music all the time and finally the concert. It was fantastic. It was fabulous. Yeah. It was a great concert with all the musicians and yeah. uh, we, the one week that we spent, I don't know how it went and it's a grand finale. Yeah. We had a great time on stage. Right. It was a great concert. Still cannot believe that actually it's gonna be, I mean, from tomorrow there will be no announcement, there will be no rehearsals, there will be no timing, food, everything. there will be no music, I guess, in ethno. We'll miss everything, very badly.
får upptäcka så mycket både om sig själv och även liksom om så mycket från olika delar av världen och bara både musik och kultur och lära känna människor och det som de har sagt flera gånger under det här det här är världens bästa fredsprojekt för att ja. man, man, man lär sig uppskatta människor så mycket och även deras olikheter och likheter och att vi, vi är liksom vi är alla människor och som vi håller på med musiken som fantastiskt språk som kan förena oss alla så ja, ja. Alla borde gå på ett nu. <laughs> man får ju som en annan sorts anledning till att åka ut och mm. träffa folk och spela också då. Och att man kanske bestämmer sig för att fara till ett annat land för att träffas och spela och jamma tillsammans. Mm. Men de har kompisar överallt. <laughs> We're laughing, but we're feeling it. Yeah, it's so sad. Like we made a lot of friends, and now we get to part. It's hard. Yeah. We, we are hoping to go to India. India. Yeah. Yeah. In, in March next year. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. Bye.